I welcome you to today's spiritual breakfast. I welcome you to today's spiritual breakfast session. I bring greetings to you. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning and I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even today as we meditate His word. Today's meditation is from the book of Acts chapter 15 verse 1. Paul came to Derbe and uh, then to Lystra where a disciple named Timothy lived whose mother was Jewish uh, and a believer but whose father was a Greek. This is a wonderful verse. I love this verse. You will know the reason. Why? Because uh, Timothy is being introduced right here. We, we know that uh, Timothy, is, uh, Timothy is a partner in Paul's ministry and uh, Paul very much loved Timothy. And the verse we read is a beautiful verse because it says in the last part, Timothy's mother was a Jew and also a Jewish believer, it says. And our, but father was a Greek. Oh man, wonderful. We have so many verses from the Bible to say that Christians uh, should not say that I belong to this caste or Christians should not see which caste this person belongs to. Whether it may be marriage or whatever it may be, Christians should not be seeing that. We have, we have so many verses from the Bible but this verse, I love it. And it, it speaks indirectly, but it speaks very strong. Timothy was a young man uh, who, who became a very good pastor uh, to lead a church. His parents have done uh, cross-cultural or uh, cross-caste uh, marriage, we can say. How even before Christ was preached to them, they have done a wonderful marriage. If we, to say that these two castes for the world, these two castes or these two people are against each other. The Jews they call the Greek as the Gentiles, and there were Jews. We see that they were not even okay. Uh, for uh, to the gospel being preached to the Gentiles, to the Greeks. But guess what is happening here? There is a wonderful couple who set, an, set a beautiful example to teach us that the bride is from the Jewish background and the groom is from the Greek background. Oh my God, my dear brothers and sisters, if you want to call yourself as a children of God, as a child of God, don't ever see caste. If you see that I will get uh, a girl from this caste only for my son, for my daughter only from this caste, don't call yourself as Christian. Don't call yourself as a child of God because Bible never, Bible is never encouraging that. Bible is always against that. Let me tell you, you are sinning against God. If you are going to say, even for the marriage, if you are going to say, I will take one leaf from this caste, don't, don't ever call yourself as a child of God. That is a shame for Jesus. Bible very clearly teaches us, Bible is always against caste divisions. One leaf will have to say, is that girl a saved? Is that boy a saved? That is what you need. So let's not talk about caste even in the marriage let's be a children of god forever amen